Hello, hello, hello. I come to you today in the precious and mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yeshua HaMashiach, the Son of God who came in the flesh, died on the cross for your sin and my sin, and rose from the dead on the third day. I'm so thankful that he's alive forevermore, and he lives to intercede for us daily. Hallelujah. You know, he's my best friend. He's my awesome brother. He's my awesome father and my awesome God, and I just love him. I praise him with all of my heart, soul, and mind. Where would I be? Where would you be without him? And what he did on the cross at Calvary by shedding his holy blood. An awesome thing. Thank you, Lord. Thank you in Jesus' name. Today I bring a prophetic word that was given on Monday, January the 15th. Ah, uh, correction. I get my dates mixed up. January the 19th, 2015, which is today. And before I begin, I'd like to say this to you. I want to encourage anyone out there who's watching this video, who's going through tough times in their lives, whether it's financial whether it's your relationship, whether it's sickness or disease, I want to encourage you today that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord shall deliver us out of them all. That's from Psalms 34, 17 through 19. God will never leave nor forsake us. He loves us. He died for us and he rose from the dead for you and for me. God wants so much to bless us and he will, but we have to have faith. We have to turn from our sins. So many people out there want to be blessed, but are doing sins every day before the Lord. How can he bless you? Why would you want to be blessed in your sin? You know, we have to turn away from sin because he wants us to live holy lives. We have to do that. You know, God is holy. He doesn't change. He's the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. So I want to urge you that if you're in sin, go before the Lord. Go before Jesus. He's so willing and ready to help you, to cleanse you, to destroy the works of demons and devils just by his blood. But you have to reach out. You have to want to change. I don't care whether it's alcohol. I don't care whether it's drugs. I don't care what you've done. God is ready to forgive you. He loves you. So consider today turning from your sins and just going before him and saying, Lord, I realize that I'm in need of a Savior. I'm in need of you. I believe you came in the flesh and died on the cross for me. You rose from the dead on the third day. I want to be washed in your precious blood. I want you to be the Lord of my life. I want you to fill my heart. And I want you to fill me with your Holy Spirit. If you can confess that in sincerity, you will become a child of the living God. And I pray that you do that. Without further ado, here is the prophetic word in Jesus' name. Awake, 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 O oh great America, how you have fallen before me, O oh America, how you have taken upon yourself other gods, how you serve them, how you summon them to perform unholy acts before the Almighty God. Oh, my wrath boils towards thee, O oh America. You will be held accountable, and I will surely judge your ways. Behold, even now at your doorstep, evil mounts and prepares to strike. Do you see it, O America? Do you know the plans of the enemy, O America? How the enemy has overtaken your government leaders. How he has gone into your schools and deceived many. How he now operates under the guise of racism. O America, you have fallen from me, the one true God. For I have kept thee. I have blessed thee. I have sustained thee, even when you turned a blind eye to my commands. I have relented on your destruction because of my faithful ones who intercede for you daily, O America. Oh, how my heart is grieved, grieved to see the abominations on every scale, every level, permeating like wildfire in the earth, even into my churches. O America, how can I, the one true God, continue to protect you when you have embraced evil, loved it, and now it's rooted in your bosom? Only I. The one true God can destroy evil. Am I not the only true God who has all power to heal and to destroy? To you, O oh evil leaders of America, you politicians who do great abominations in secret places, oh, how my wrath is prepared and ready to strike you. How will you stand against my wrath, O oh followers of Satan, you disciples of he that is fallen and judged? I've come to you and ask 
pleaded that you would repent and turn back to me. I am a merciful and loving God, and I will forgive and cleanse those who repent before me. But you, O wicked of the earth, you have surely blasphemed my name. You have mocked God with your hearts, and your mouths are incessantly speaking filth. Yet I will bind your mouths, and fire will burn brightly in your bosom. This fire you will not be able to quench. I behold your plans to kill my people. You set traps and snares. You sit and wait in dark places to destroy them that confess me as their Lord and Savior. These have believed on my son, Jesus Christ, who died and rose again. Behold, I send forth mine holy angels against thee. How will you prevail? O America, how you have forsaken me, the one true God. You have smitten my face with the passing of your abominable laws that allows man to marry man and woman to marry woman. O oh, you foolish people, I am the Almighty God, and I do not condone this. Neither is this the joining of one flesh in my sight, as declared in my word. I created man to become one flesh with woman in marriage, not any other way. And yet, you do this in spite of my commands. Have I not told thee, it is an abomination unto me, this unnatural affection that you display towards one another. I have warned you, but you will not hear my call to repent. Therefore, saith God, you will die in your unrepentant sins, and this death will be a spiritual death for eternity, since you will not repent and turn from your many wicked sins. O America, you have grieved the living God by your sinful ways. I have extended time that you would repent, but you won't. You have not even considered that I, the living God, speaketh unto thee, and am broken in my heart because of your adultery. So, America, as I speak this moment through my servant, surely my judgment comes. What will you do? Where will you go? Is there any place to hide from the living God? I will that no soul would perish, but that all would repent and be saved. Why will you not come to me? For I love you. I love you. I love you. My creation, I love you. And yet my love you desire not. And therefore I, the Almighty God will not force you to love me, nor will I force you to follow my ways of righteousness. But you must know that the consequence of turning from me is eternal damnation. So be it, if this is what you choose. To my precious and lovely children, do not fear, but remain in me and be holy unto me. Relinquish your sins and do not give place to the enemy. I say unto thee, no more debates and conflicts regarding my word. Now is a time where prayer and fasting is so very crucial. The time has come unto the earth where my hand will be seen by all. I love you, and I will never leave nor forsake you. I am that I am. Father, may your word go forth and accomplish what you send out to do in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray that you go before the Lord and pray about this word. Don't take my word for it. In Jesus' name, you have a blessed day. I love you.